Hi guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome to my channel. Is someone here at me tonight? Say hello. <laughs> He's got balloons in his mouth. He's trying to blow them. Um, it's Isaac, by the way. So, uh, guys, if you haven't already, do check out down below and press the thumbs up. It's going to change a different colour. Go ahead and try it. And if you have not already, please do subscribe to my channel. And no, I have not fired it. It is my son. He's trying to blow up balloons behind me. Um, yes, yeah, so do subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, if you want to hear me blabbering on about cooking, family life, and God knows what else. <laughs> so, budget. We all struggle with finances and uh, we certainly do in this house anyway at times. Um, so I like to budget meal prep. I have got two tikka masala cooking sauces here in front of me, 89 cent each. I have a box of a pack of boiling bag rice. Make sure I say that right this time. 135 and then a family pack of minced beef which was 3.89 and uh, a wee tin of sweet corn which was roughly 29 cent okay so this is all in here i have the two tikka masala i have the minced beef i have the one tin a tin i'll actually i'll, I'll tell you now how much is in it there is Oh, here it is behind me. I thought it was over there in the sweet bag. So it's 300 grams. And that's your net weight. Drained weight is 285, which I've used. It was drained. So uh, that's the sweet corn that I have used for this. And yes, I used, well, I didn't really use the whole tin because I've done two portions here with extra rice I left over in the fridge. So that's for my husband. The only thing I've added extra is beef stock. I assume people do have that in their cupboards anyway. So um, if you don't, they are no more than 55 cents. And um, you get a load of cubes. I've used four here and 1800 mils of water. And that's just basically bringing flavor to this. Because if you add like... I poured some of the stock in here, so just under the label, and I give it a shake. You know, after I poured the sauce in, and I poured both of them in. So if you put water in that, it's going to make it too watery. You know, there's not going to be enough flavour. And I only cooked the mints. I likely fried it in some garlic, salt, and olive oil. So you're going to take a lot of the flavour away if you do add extra water. So the beef stock really helps with flavour. Now, there is no uh, rice in this. I have to cook up some rice. I'm going to cook up four bags. And that is going to give me 12 portions. Four bags and this. 12 portions. All for 7.30, 30, 7.35? I'm pretend I don't have that wrote down in front of me. Uh, but yeah. 7.35 for 12 portioned meals. 12. You're not using all the rice. What you can do is get a tin of tuna. You can get another tin of sweet corn. And you can do another eight portions of tuna, rice and sweet corn. Win, win. You can add a bit of chicken stock to that as well for flavour. This is just budgeting. Okay, there's not really a variety of fresh fruit and fresh veg into some of these meal preps that I'm going to be doing and um, but you're still getting your budget you're still getting first you're still getting veg and I say that because I do struggle we we'll go to the fridge for instance banana apple orange melon strawberries what no wonder people can't eat that much fruit and veg in a day it's like, boom, 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 boom. I know they say, oh yeah, put it on the plate, mix it with this and that. Oh, come on. I just chuckle on the smoothie. I'll drink half it in the morning. I'll have two boiled eggs. Drink the other half at my soup in uh, for lunch. And um, then I'll have something like this for my tea. You know, and I do this with spaghetti bolognese as well. You can have this with the spaghetti bolognese cooking sauce. And uh, you can do the exact same and cook your pasta separate. It's great. This is a 12 portion. The tuna is an eight portion. 
um, for the four bags or however way you want to work that. You can go to 12 if you want. But this is really, really good when you're on a budget. And this is family. Like, look at the size of that. Like, it's great. So, um, the Legal Plus app, if you haven't heard about it, do check it out. Um, every time you shop in Legal, you get a percentage of things. You get, like, 50% 50, 50 20% off stuff. You're off things. And um, then every time you shop in the store and you spend, you get, like, a little scratch scratch card on it. And you do it with your finger. Like, you know, if you've got, like, you know, your Android and your iPhone. And you win things. We won um, bolognese sauce the other day. And today after I picked up some baking stuff. Um, we won a bag of chocolates. Uh, bars of chocolates. Big bag. So um, that's really good. And I have, uh, you know, you have a few days to pick it up. It's really good, all the coupons and everything. So if you haven't heard about it, I'm telling you now, download it. It's really, really cool. And like I just said, I went in for baking stuff. So I have my flour. I have self raisin and I have plain and I have my apples and yes I'm doing apple tart and I have about 10 euro in here and I'm going to cover it in some foil and pop it in the apple tart you know as it's cooking it's, it's really nice when one of the kids get that like you know and they're like oh I got money of mine and you know I have been very careful as well don't joke <laughs> so I have uh, what I do is I put a toothpick or like, you know, like people like say a toothpick, but it's really like, you know, one of the little, um, the little cocktail sausage sticks, like, you know, the little ones. And I put them in, I mark where they are so I know. And then when I give it to them, like, you know, I'll take them out. So I know exactly when I make that mark, the tiny little hole that they don't know about. So they don't bloody choke, you know, because I have little ones here, like my youngest is two and then I have a four year old and I have David, he's eight today. So happy birthday, David. I know you're watching, honey. And um, then I have Clara as well and um, she is uh, nine. And um, then I have Colin, he's 11 and my eldest is 12, Josh. So hi to Josh and hi to Colin because I know you guys are watching too. I was talking to Colin the other night. He subscribed to my channel and my son is already subscribed, Josh. So hi. And Clara is with her nanny at the moment this past week. So um, hi, Clara, if you're watching. Um, yeah. So anyways, getting on with this. That is just something quick and easy. I have shown you. I have a few baking things to be doing now. It's evening time uh, here in Ireland. So uh, I'm going to get on with this. And behind me here, I have a lot of stuff I have accumulated from the whole, uh, from, from last week and this week. So I decided on, uh, they are called fancy uh, pint little tumblers and there's 20 in them. And I'm going to actually get another pack tomorrow and um, I'll just show you now one second. I think Isaac has taken, <laughs> but I got um, a pack of glow sticks. Yeah, I think Isaac has taken the pack. Uh, I got a pack of glow sticks. <laughs> he has taken the pack on me. <laughs> well, what can you do? But uh, he's in the same house. Uh, I'm going to put glow sticks in these and I'm going to cover them up. And I'm going to put like little sweet cones in them. I'm going to do some wee sweet cones. And I'm hiding them all around my green out the front um, for my children that live but for my children and for other children that live in the area and um, because I know a lot of children aren't they're not going uh trick or treating well I know my children aren't anyway and um David's birthday is today as I was saying but he's having his party on Saturday all he wants is a room filled with balloons and a treasure hunt so like he got 50 euro top up for his uh, playstation today and um that's the idea then we came up with for Saturday and you know we're going to get a few fireworks and stuff again he knows all about this he's old enough you know he understands um so yeah and I'm also going to be doing his cake so we're going to hide a few fun things in there and I am not going to sit with the art because I know he's watching um but yeah that'll be fun when he uh, cuts into the cake and sees things we've hidden in there and um, so yeah guys i am going to go off now and i shall see you in my next video when i'll be showing you how to do these these are something we do um almost every year i will actually show you a clip on um, my son's birthday in may and we did like 
like little uh, Mickey Mouse kind of uh, tubs. We got the stuff from Mr. Price. It's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you them. And um, I'm going to go off now for the time being. Uh, the dog is playing tonight. So uh, come on the town. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, do not forget to press the thumbs up down below. It will change colour. And do subscribe if you want to hear me rambling and talking about 50 miles per hour because I do not want to edit the video. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys.